and welcome to Quake for Week 8. Sam, Lauren, Kiara and I pray that you are doing well, enjoying school and loving your family and friends. This week, Lauren will be taking us through the big question, why do bad things happen? Very interesting. Hope you tune in for that. But before that, Kiara is going to take us through a game. Take it away. Hey everyone, today we're going to be playing a memory game. So how this game is going to work is there's going to be 10 images up on the screen and they're going to stay there for 10 seconds. Then we're going to take them down and we're going to mix them up and we're going to put them back on, but there's going to be a couple missing. And your job is to find out and remember which ones were missing. Now you can't go back and you can't write them down. So you've got to be really concentrating. All right, let's go. Thank you, Kiara. Now, Lauren is going to take us through the question, why do bad things happen? Hi everyone, this week we'll be looking at the big question, why do bad things happen? This is a very good question to think about, and I think it's something that we all think about sometimes. The answer starts all the way back at the beginning, when God created the world and it was very good that Adam and Eve were the first people to sin. And since then, everyone has sinned. Because God is a holy, perfect, and just, fair judge, there's a punishment for sin. What was that punishment? Genesis 3 tells us that the punishment for sin is death. And also suffering and pain, and hardship and sickness. Bad things are all a consequence of sin. We've all sinned. So we don't actually deserve anything good. We all deserve to die. People suffer because of sin in the world. But I have very good news for you. In fact, I have one, two, three bits of good news for you that we're going to open as we think about this topic of why bad things happen. Let's open good news number one. Jesus saves sinners. Although we've all sinned and we all deserve to die, God still loves us. God sent his son Jesus to die and take the punishment that we deserved. Jesus beat sin when he rose from the dead. God saves sinners when we trust in him. But Christians still suffer. Christians still die. So how does that make sense if Jesus saved us? Well, this brings us to good news number two. Let's open it. God uses bad things for good. God has promised that he will use our suffering for good. How crazy is that? When bad things happen to us, God is using them to show his goodness and to bring us closer to Jesus. Do you remember the story of Joseph? How his brothers threw him in a ditch, then he got sold into slavery in Egypt, but then he ended up ruling over the people of Egypt? Joseph knew that God used bad things for good. And he says so in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. 
You meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. And God doesn't leave us in our suffering. He's still with us. He's still watching us and in control. James says that we should consider it joy when we face trials because we know that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. God helps us to keep going when we suffer and even tells us to be joyful because we can be joyful because God uses bad things for good. Bad things also remind us of something very important. When bad things happen, we remember that this world that we live in is broken because it's full of sin. But for Christians, this is a good reminder. Good news number three says, this world is not our home. This world is not our home. Because Jesus has saved us, he's promised that he is preparing a better place for us. A place where there won't be any more sin or crying or tears or sadness. This place is in heaven and there's no sin there. Revelation chapter 21 says, He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain. So why do bad things happen? Bad things happen because we live in a world that is broken by sin. But for Christians, there is good news. Number one, Jesus has saved us from sin. Number two, God uses bad things for good. And number three, this world is not our home. These gifts, these good newses are free for anyone who puts their trust in Jesus. And let me tell you, it's worth it. All you have to do is put your trust in Jesus as our King and you can be part of his family. Is this something that you want? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you do not leave us in our suffering. You don't leave us in our sin, but die to save us. We don't deserve anything good, but you saved us from our punishment of sin. Thank you for using bad things for your good, because you are good. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. Thank you for forgiving us, and thank you that this world is not our home. Amen. Thank you, Lauren, for that awesome talk. Now, Sam is going to take us through a craft. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the craft for today. So today's big question is why do bad things happen? And as we already know from Lauren's talk, bad things happen because our world is broken and full of sin. There's the world right there. But God uses broken things for good and saves us from our sin. Now, your poster should look pretty full by now. Why not send in a photo to our email right here? Thank you, Sam. Well... That's all the time we've got for Quake this week. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can send them to the email below. But until then, see you next time.